My name is Kiptum Caroline. Uh, I like training a, a lot because they motivate me and also I'm running for health reasons. Uh, some few months ago I added a lot of weight, I was overweight and I visited the doctor and he informed me that I was supposed to lose around 15 kilos. So far so good, I'm, almo I'm almost reaching my, uh, my target but I still have like uh, 7 more kg to lose. I run 5 days in a week. Yes, uh, mostly uh, it lifts my, my moods at workplace. Uh, before I used to get mad, you know, having mood things, you know ladies. But nowadays after running, uh, my day is fantastic the whole day, yes. And how long do you plan on keeping running? Or do, you, do, you want, do you want to run, do you want to continue throughout the rest of your life? Yes, 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 it's Zoezi Maisha. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm running for life. Today we are at Kericho Green Stadium as a for the speed work session and uh, luckily today we had almost all the groups uh, doing the speed work because uh, we are having a AK cross country series in Sotik this Saturday so probably that gives us a reason as to why mostly most of the groups were here doing their last uh, speed work in readiness for that. Whereas we are happy because we have been following uh, this athletics family and we have learned a lot along the way. It has come a time where there is a debate and when time for something has come definitely no matter how much you try to say no it has come. Sports science. Right now globally the talk is all about sports science and it has come a time whereby we need to get an in-depth understanding on sports science because there is a thin line between sports science and doping. So if you don't know and understand what sports science is, you will be uh, thinking that sports science is all about doping. Well, let's see, for example, well, when our athletes are going to chase for records, let's say in the Diamond Leagues, nowadays we have the ultraviolet rays which are put on the field while you are running, which will show you whether you are in the record bracket or not have you. That is science. So it helps you to get there. Well, recently when Kipchoge was running Berlin Marathon, there was a gadget which brought a lot of debates, which was on, uh, on his hand. Well, that uh, gadget did not uh, help him perform, but it is one way of understanding the body of an athlete. So it has come a time whereby we need to understand in depth the metabolism and how the body of a specific athlete works. So such a gadget will help you to understand when the glucose is low, what type of supplement you need to take, what type of food you need to take, the level of blood that you have, and then you can work on that by eating food which is required, and that is sports science. So basically we are urging those who are agitating about it to bring it to the forefront so that most of the athletes can understand it. Well, the top managers are doing it right now, they are adopting that. In major races and even in training, they are doing that and it is helping the athletes. It is not uh, doping, but it helps you to understand what is low in my body, I need what intake. Yeah, so it doesn't mean I have to go and take drugs, no. So, and you will be able to understand how the body of an athlete works, especially even when you are going to drink water in the stages, you will know what to drink in every stage. It will not be just water. And that is sports science for us. Well, the world is changing so fast and I'm just uh, asking the young generation career-wise because basically when you start running, you will only think that running is everything. But where we are right now, the, child, the, the world is changing and we need to adapt. We have neglected education, but it has come a time whereby we need to start balancing our running career and our education career. Yes, it is possible. Well, for those who are at the peak right now, we cannot do anything about it. But for the younger generation, it is time we mold them.
for they say make hay while it's still wet. So if you, are, if you have an opportunity to study, kindly study. If you are in high school, please, we are asking you to study hard so that at least you get a good grade, C, C plus and above. That one can guarantee you a sponsorship abroad whereby you'll be able to study and do your thing in athletics at the same time. At the end of it all, you will graduate both in athletics and in your education. And when your athletics reach the peak, because there is end of everything, just definitely like when you are starting, everything has an end. So when it ends, when you have education, you will be somebody. So you will not just say, my career has ended. The running career will end, but you will continue with your profession. And more so, when you have money, you will not be putting your trust in other people while you don't have the know-how of how to invest. But when you go for education, you'll be having the know-how of how to invest. You'll be able to ask the question on those people whom you, you, they are in charge of your investment and everything. So it has come a time we need to balance education and running and even football every career. <laughs> If you don't get an opportunity to get to KDF, you broaden your mind and you start doing farming while you are running and you'll be able to get returns and revenues from both sides. Well, another issue is the issue of image and branding. It has come a time where all the athletes need to, to embrace the technology and embrace the image and branding. Say that you will be able to be earning from the track and even from your personality, how you take yourself, how you speak, how you take yourself, the discipline and everything. Even the corporates will be able to identify themselves with you and you will be earning something. So, and it will be a complete package. You will be able to be doing your own things and putting them on YouTube, inspirations, and other people will be learning from them. They will be watching. As much as you will be helping them, you will, be able, you will also be getting returns. So it has come a time whereby we are begging all the athletes, please let us change our mindset. Let us do our thing in the track. And please, let's also do something about education, about ourselves, and about our future. This will ease our future. And as usual, don't forget, we are here to inform you, to entertain you, and enlighten you kindly. Don't forget to watch, share, like, and engage us. Thank you, Spot, and thank you so much. Spotlight at 5 is your family.